if you're on TikTok, or maybe even if you're not, you've probably heard of Dustin Pointer, who's known more as the guy with the red flag or the red flag guy. His whole content revolves around reacting to videos that show toxic behavior in relationships. He waves his giant red flag anytime he comes across someone who displays red flag behavior. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we will react to some of his videos and see if we agree with him when he claims some of those things men or women say or do are red flags. Let's roll the first one. There's a lot that's like asked of a man. Like first dates are like <laughs> nightmares. Yeah. They got like a checkbox, like, are you gonna pick me up? Are you gonna hold, are you gonna walk on the outside of the sidewalk? Are you gonna open the door? Oh, fella, male constituent. Are you gonna pull out the seat? Are you gonna pay for the meal? Are you gonna be interesting during the dinner? I am more annoyed than Pennywise chasing down Usain Bolt in a raincoat. You have beef with being fun? Are you gonna be funny during the dinner? And then when you walk home, are you gonna drop me off? Are you gonna watch me walk inside? And These are basic manners! Can we put a grown-up in cotillion? It's like trying to defuse a bomb. Like, if you <laughs> think, and you're like, one little thing, and you're just done. <laughs> Look, I'm no expert and I make plenty of mistakes in my relationship. I'm just a dude with a flag and opinions. But if it's the right person, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be honest and you have to open doors for them and stuff. I, I can't believe I have to say that. <laughs> so. Yes, red flag. Many red flags, actually. This man is a great match to a radical feminist. If he has a problem opening doors for a woman, picking her up for a date, making sure she gets home safely, but the worst one, most annoying thing for a man to do is to try to be interesting during the date. How dare a woman expect an interesting, stimulating conversation on the first date? How dare she expect to have fun when she goes out with a man? No. I know that we constantly debate here on my channel the femininity in women and masculinity in men and how little of both we've got left in this world. This is a perfect example. If you are not willing to be a man, to do these basic things that every man, every gentleman should do, you can't expect to date a real lady. The only woman who will be willing to date you is the one who is more masculine, who will open her own door, who will pay for her own dinner, who will drive herself, who will have no expectations from you whatsoever. But usually these women look like this. Or maybe you just want a dude in a dress. We've got plenty of those in the world at the moment too. Anyway, here are some comments. I guess the amount of work of a first date compared to playing video games at home by yourself would seem overwhelming. And this one, yeah, it must be so stressful for guys on the first dates. Us girls just have to worry if they're gonna unalive us or not. And this one, not him being mad, he has to be interesting. The other men just looking at him in disbelief. Yes, did you see the other dudes? They didn't agree. Well, we all agree with Dustin though. This guy is a giant sitting and talking red flag. But before I play another clip for you guys, please make sure to like and share this video. This is the only way for me to fight the bias algorithm here on YouTube that's been suppressing my content. I'll be forever grateful. So let's see the next video. At 43, what's the youngest girl you date? I mean, I wouldn't date anybody less than 18. Nope, warning, warning. She can join the military, she can buy a gun. She can smoke a cigarette. She can't go to a casino. She can't drink. She can't rent a car. But I mean, what would you, a uh, 43-year-old man, have in common with an 18-year-old woman? Sexual attraction. Uh, background check, you click. Why does society frown upon that then? A lot of guys think it's daddy's little girl forever. It's like, she wants to have, she wants to have her own daddy. Okay, put that sentence back in your mouth. And you know, don't express joy anymore either. You smile like Pennywise before he eats a child. That's insane. Such a giant red flag. The creepy smile, the fact that he had, he's so casually said, uh, I wouldn't date anyone under 18 years old. He's 43. Think about it. Someone at 18 could easily be his child. This is what usually horrifies me about dudes like this, because when you are 43 year old father, you genuinely think your 18-year-old kid is a dumbass. She or he doesn't know anything about the world. They are easily manipulated, so you spend all your free time warning them about creeps and dangerous idiots out there. This is a perfect example of a creep and a dangerous idiot in one. He did not say, I prefer women my own age. He didn't even say, I like younger women under 30. No, he just said he wouldn't go lower than 18-year-old. And he had this creepy smile on his face about it. Let's see the comments. Dude said 18 cause that's the law. 
for sure. This one, that guy's smile actually triggered my fight or flight. <laughs> Man, I'm 36 and even 30 feels like a stretch sometimes. I can't imagine talking to an 18 year old and not being like, yeah, this is a child. And this one, I'm 17 and most of my friends are 18. We have nothing in common with someone in their 40s. We're still in high school. I love that there is a comment from an actual teenager here. A 17 or 18 year old says that they have nothing in common with the guy over 40. Old creeps need to leave teenagers alone. Let them have their teenage loves, their puppy love, let them be safe. But you see what's the case with old guy who hits on teenager? He is unable to score a woman his own age because those women will see right through him. They are experienced and they have seen it all. So they see his red flags from miles away. I say investigate this guy, just in case. Anyway, here is another video for us to twitch over. Can I use your phone real quick? My phone? Yeah. You have your phone right there. I know, but I need to use your phone real quick. Why do you need my phone? I am more nervous than a balloon at a party full of puffer fish. Because I just need to do something. Can I just see it? No. Let me I don't just think see so. it. Why? Oh. Okay, you gotta stop with the insecurity things. Like, you have your phone. There's nothing in my phone. He's the prime minister of manipulation nation. Why do you want to see my phone? Just to go through it? No, I just like just to prove that there's nothing there. Like there is no good that comes from that. And just hold on himself. I just wanted to see it for a second. Here it is. <laughs> I'll open it for you. What do you need? What do you need on my phone? Oh, you're gonna navigate it for me? Yes. No. Navigating? Really? If she says open Snapchat, I better see it turn into Siri, and be like rerouting. I gotta go to work. We can play this game when I get home. Okay. Map quest. I'm sure you're going to be working really hard on deleting stuff. I've got bad news for you, girl. He is probably cheating. In fact, I threw in the word probably very loosely there because I am convinced this guy is up to no good. When you ask your partner to borrow their phone and they hesitate, it's a red flag. There is no way around it. Unless he is planning some amazing surprise for you and all evidence of it is in his phone so he doesn't want you to see it. Okay, this is a one in a million scenario. But here this guy starts with gaslighting immediately. You have to stop with your insecurity. Are you gonna go through it? Nothing good will come out of it. And then he says she can go through his phone when he's back from work. Work meaning deleting evidence all day. Someone says gaslighting, misdirection, so many red flags. And this one, you gotta stop with your insecurity things. Pardon? I just asked my hubby to see his phone. He handed it to me immediately and continued to the living room. No questions, no concern. We've been married 26 years and I adore my best friend, hubby. That's how it's supposed to be. If you have nothing to hide, what's the big deal? Plus, you know what? If you don't already suspect that something is going on, you will not ask for the phone unless you really have to use it. You will not feel the need. So that's another thing. At first, when she asked for it and then he asked why is a normal reaction, but everything past this is a red flag. Yep. I throw my phone to my wife so she can order food. I don't care what she does with it. Just get food. <laughs> Exactly. By the way, let's remember we are not talking about a casual dating couple. This is her whole ass husband who has a problem with his wife using his phone. Red flags all over the place. You do not have to accept her rejection. Male constituent! I'm a professional dating coach and I teach guys how to understand the female mind. Okay, I've built myself a flag for it, so I'm just gonna hang out in here and play games and dissociate. If you're one of the people that haven't applied anything in my course or my videos or anything like that, this video is not for you. This is an advanced technique. Anyone ever played the power washing game on here? Here's an example. I was talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. And I, instead of just going, okay, and then just turning the right way, I did this. Why would you not be interested in me? I'm the best. Nope. Put that sentence back in your mouth. And she's like, oh, how? I'm like, well, You'd have to come over in my house to find out. I am more nervous than a tick stuck to a teddy bear. Actually, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you, maybe you, uh, you wouldn't be the best for me. Oh, something true. You want to know what I did with her later? Oh, no, thank you. I unfortunately have an imagination. Look, this dating coach thing you're trying, quit your day job and quit this and get your affairs in order because where you're going, it doesn't have a nine to five. It has a 12. Are there actually guys who listen to his advice? First of all, if a woman politely rejects a man and then he goes, what? but I'm the best, you're missing out. She is already clenching onto her pepper spray in her purse. She is ready to defend herself. She is ready to scream and run. And then if she's still trying to be polite to you and holds up the conversation and you tell her she should come to your place 
and you say it in this creepy tone, she has all possible alarms going off in her head. It is not cute to be overconfident. It is actually pretty repulsive, at least to me. There is nothing worse than a guy who acts like he knows he's good looking, like he's the prize. Healthy amount of confidence, yes, but this, this is some lunatic who still lives in his mom's basement, hasn't spoken to a real woman in real life since he finished high school, and now he calls himself a dating coach. We have some comments. His name is now the Alpha Dom. The Alpha, what? Wait, is this true? Oh my God, he literally calls himself the Alpha Dom and he's, he does dating advice videos. So someone else said, shouldn't he have gone on a date in, a, in order to coach dating? And this one, I don't know how to explain this, but I can tell by his hands, he's never talked to a human woman. <laughs> and this one, hope his cellmate won't accept his no. See, some men seem to not be very passionate about consent until this type of situation occurs. Suddenly they would want their no to protect them, right? But here we have a man teaching not to take no for an answer. 100 red flags. But as usual, I want to know what you guys think. Do you agree with any of the guys in the videos we watched today? Or do you agree with Dustin waving his giant red flag and calling them out? Let me know in the comments. And just a reminder to subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications to never miss another Daily Fredo episode. For even more content, check out my Patreon account and follow me on Instagram at Daily Fredo. That's all for today. Have a good one. He's talking to a girl and she said, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. Why would you not be interested in me? I'm the best.